Hello again, my friends. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to St. Mark Lutheran Church Bemidji's podcast. If this is your first time listening, welcome. I think it's super keen that you are here. For those that come here time after time, I am blessed and humbled by your continued listenership. Today, we continue our three times weekly short devotional series by Pastor Allard for Grace Lutheran in Sioux City. His studies cover a wide variety of topics that tackle everyday issues for the Christian. Those who are curious about what Christianity is all about will also find them intriguing. I only have a few more weeks of this particular content left, but do not fret. More exciting things await us down the road. This podcast isn't the church. A radio show or a YouTube pastor isn't the church. The church is the combined body of believers gathered around the Word of God, recorded for us without error in the Bible. Why would I tell you this? Well, because God knows that we need each other to shore each other up in bad times, to rejoice together when God has blessed us. I don't mean that you should stop listening to this podcast or stop watching our Sunday YouTube feeds. They are an excellent supplement. I listen to them myself. No, what I am saying is to implore you to come to church, a Bible-based church, with other believers that will help you grow in the Word And I urge you with every ounce of my strength to stay in your Bible. Never, never let the word grow stale in your mind. We have a number of cool things that are coming up this week that you can be a part of. We have a public Google Calendar that lists all of them, both unique and recurring events, including our church service times. And I've put a link in the podcast description so you can peruse it at your leisure, and I hope you'll do so. If you have a suggestion on how to improve the podcast or constructive feedback of any sort, feel free to drop me a line at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. And I've gone on long enough now, so without further delay, let us take a listen to what's in store for us. Have a listen to God's Word in Mark chapter 4. We read, When he was alone, the twelve and the others around Jesus asked him about the parables. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise they might turn and be forgiven. You've probably never heard anyone say, I believe everything and I take everything in the Bible literally. And if somebody did say something like that or they believe that, then they're misguided. Why? Because there's a big difference between saying that the Bible is the inerrant, no mistakes, word of God, and saying that the Bible is supposed to be taken literally at all times. Take a look, for example, at just Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Just within the context of that one sermon, Jesus said things like, if your right eye is causing you to sin, you know the rest. Tear that eye out, because it's better to lose a part of your body than your whole body to be thrown into hell. Jesus was not advocating for masses of mutilated followers. In fact, that's against the fifth commandment. You shall not murder. We're not supposed to harm others or ourselves. He was talking about the seriousness of sin, how dangerous it is. And and gouging out one of your own eyes, how horrifying an image that is. But Jesus tells us, hell is worse. Hell is that bad. So if every word that Jesus uttered is to be taken literally, then every one of his followers have to immediately gouge out both eyes. Remember, Jesus used parables and metaphors. Jesus also used another tool called shocking words and images to wake people up to the danger that our sin is. And he used these devices to make explicitly clear spiritual truths. In fact, it's right to say the only reason any of his messages is not clear is because of the filter of our own sin. But Jesus used these devices to show us what truth is. And this is where we have to ask, and please do ask, 
for God the Holy Spirit's guidance to tell the difference between the figurative and the literal, to help us distinguish between literal language and parable language, and to mine those treasures of God's word out, no matter what kind of language God is using. One Bible reading tip. If you're ever tripping up over whether language is figurative or not, let the context, let the surrounding verses be your guide. See you next time. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Sunday mornings. May God richly continue to bless the rest of your day.